everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference and I make a learning easy and accessible for students. Today we are going to be talking about the nephron. What is the nephron? How are we going to draw the nephron when we get to the examination hall? What are the various parts of the nephron? By the end of this class, you will be able to draw the nephron perfectly well and also labor it. But before we go into details, kindly click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. Let's go there. Alright, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we are going to be talking about the nephron. What is the nephron? The nephron is the functional unit of the kidney. The nephron is what? The nephron is the functional unit of the kidney. And each kidney is made up of 900 to 1 million nephron. Yes, each kidney. Your left kidney is made up of 900 to 1 million nephron. Your right kidney is made up of 900 to 1 million nephron. Then that takes us to the diagram of the nephron proper. Whenever I'm in the exam hall, they ask me to draw the nephron. What comes to my mind is, first of all, the nephron has what looks like a cup. That cup is known as the Bauman's capsule. So let's draw the cup first. The cup is like this. Am I on track? Yeah. This is the cup. As we are drawing, we are laboring. We said it has what a cup, and this cup is known as what the Bauman's capsule. So we labor, and it's known as the Bauman's capsule. Inside this cup, there is a filter. There's a permeable membrane, the same permeable membrane, known as the glomerulus. So we'll put something glomerulus. We call this one glomerulus. This is the glomerulus. You get that? So there's a cup. Inside this cup, there's a filter known as the glomerulus. Then something is always coming in and going out of the nephron, and that is the arteries. So there are two types of arteries. We have the afferent arteries and the efferent arteries. So the one coming in. Is known as the afferent. So you can do it like this afferent. Arteries. Then the one going out, that's taking the blood out, is known as the efferent. Efferent arteries. So this is the beginning of the nephron. The afferent is the one bringing blood into this Bama's capsule for filtration so that the waste, waste in it will go down. While the efferent is the one taking it away. You get now? So, when I look at this, this is the first thing I draw and I've labeled it correctly. So, I'll look. There's a tube coming down. So, I'll create an opening. Clean this one away. Then I'll bring it down. The first tube is known as the proxima convoluted tube. Twisted. So, I'll draw something that, that is twisted. Something like this. Mm? And I'll bring this one. You can draw a better one though. I'm not a good artist. You get now. So this is my word. Proxima convoluted tube. So I'll label. Proximal convoluted tube. After this whole thing, there's a proxima convoluted tube. So after the proxima convoluted tube, a tube is coming down. Is it descending? It's descending, right? So this is a descending loop of Helen. So we'll bring it like this. Descending loop of Helen. Right? Then here, we now have a bend. Coming down, we have a bend. This is the loop of hell in proper, known as the haparin bend. So you can write loop of hell. I'll follow you now. So after this this curve, we have another 
we have sorry after this curve now you see this one is going up so this is the ascending ascending loop of healing so we write ascending loop of healing I'll you. so after this ascending loop of healing we have another convoluted to twisted so we draw something that's convoluted to again uh-huh i'm not good with it so i just draw it you can draw better than me so this one here that's twisted you can call it the distal convoluted tube so we highlight it's known as the distal convoluted tube hopefully now from the distal convoluted tube that's when the final part is being formed which is the collecting dot Then this you label is a collecting dot. So that is the diagram of the nephron. It begins here at the Bama's capsule. And inside the Bama's capsule, we have what? The glomerulus, which is a semi permeable membrane that helps to filter the blood. Then we have the afferent arteries bringing blood, then the efferent arteries taking blood away. Then after that, we have the proximal convoluted tube. We have the descending loop of Helen. We have the loop of Helen proper. We have the ascending loop of Helen. We have the distal convoluted tube. That's the ending. And we have what? The collecting dots. So this is the diagram of what? The nephron. Don't forget that the nephron is the functional unit of the kidney so this is my perfect diagram of the nephron you can also draw better than me don't forget to practice thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching our video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to drop your questions in the comment section and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value before i forget for those that have not registered for our telegram classes you have been missing a lot Register for our Telegram classes today to have access to all our simple voice notes. We make learning easy and accessible. See you in class and also see you in our next video. Bye.